Coca-Cola raised its four-year outlook thanks to strong demand, signaling customers are still willing to pay up even in the face of price increases. The fears around the impact of weight loss drugs have weighed on food and drink stocks as of late, and Coca-Cola is no exception. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma joins us now with the latest from the earnings call. Hey, Brooke. Good morning, Rochelle. That's right. Demand for Coca-Cola is still there. If you exclude the impact of Coca-Cola suspending its business operations in Russia, the company delivered positive volumes growth each quarter since the start of 2021. But weighing on the stock is that fear of the impact of weight loss drugs. And when asked on the call by a JP Morgan analyst how Coca-Cola was proactively approaching any potential risk, Coca-Cola CFO John Murphy weighed in. It is an area that we are very focused on. There's still a lot of views out there as to what impact, if any, it will have. I would offer, if you step above it, and look at the, the thrust of our total beverage strategy over the last few years, that we are well positioned to provide choice and to provide options for people's respective motivations and needs. And he went on to say that the company is monitoring this space, but they are confident in their strategy with plans to continue to invest in innovation. It's also worth noting that he added that 68% of Coca-Cola products currently have low or no calories today. Yes, I know we're expecting to hear a lot about that from some of these uh, consumer food and drink companies. So then, Brooke, what are some of the other areas of its business that Coca-Cola is focused on? Yeah, Rochelle, well, they did weigh in on, on multiple areas of growth, but three that they provided a bit more color with on the call was their media spend, Coke Zero potential, and some shift in consumer behavior here in the U.S., kicking things off with Coke Zero potential after lapping tremendous growth last year. Unit case volume for Coke Zero did grow 3%. The company added that there is still plenty of runway as they continue to invest behind it and are bullish on its long-term potential. The company also added that they're shifting media spend toward digital marketing, where they're seeing a higher return on investments. And this is also in a bid to reach Gen Z audience, which they say spend seven to nine hours a day on the screen with little or very little time watching traditional television. So they're definitely bulking up digital campaigns. And lastly, interesting note on consumer consumer spending, especially here in the U.S., they said that they're seeing more growth in the away from home consumer at things like restaurants, amusement parks, travel, leisure and hospitality. And they said that that's really driving the strength here in the U.S. They also added that they're seeing this divergence of consumer spending in terms of how exactly consumers are shopping to stock up their fridges versus going out at things like, once again, restaurants and amusement parks. Certainly fascinating to always watch what happens with Coca-Cola. Appreciate you so much. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma. Thanks.